Jordan. I don't know about you two, but I, yeah, I'm kind of getting a bit excited about the Hurricanes' chances when uh, they oh, take, nice. take on the Blues. I'll let you lead this conversation off for because you are um, notoriously level-headed and a uh, lot like the referees. You're just a, a impartial observer when it comes to the Hurricanes. Uh, how are you feeling? How did you feel about the performance last week to start with? I was encouraged by the fact that they didn't give up. Uh, that game could have got it could have got away on them uh, after a few things went against them. And as you say, the Crusaders put a few points back to back to back. Um, it, it could have had a wee bit of a, a domino effect, but they kept fighting. The big thing for I guess for the Hurricanes last week, where the the big stars stood up, I thought Jordy oh, yeah. Barrett was huge, and Artie Severe uh, was also huge. They they really took the game uh, to the Crusaders. Um, Geordie's just ridiculous. He, he has no sense of self-preservation. No. He, the, the way, yeah, his power running, like the way he was sort of throwing himself in defenders there in the mm. second half in particular was promising if you're a home yeah. but also concerning because it's like, geez, you're going <laughs> to... Don't get, yeah, yeah. don't get injured. Yeah. Don't get injured, please. So uh, that was a pleasing aspect of last week's game. Um, the big boys stepping up. I, I guess the the fact that they had more position and field position than the uh, Crusaders is is a wee bit of a positive. The problem is they weren't able to convert that into points uh, on most occasions. So they need to rectify that uh, this week, and I think they will. I, I think they will. I, I think the Blues maybe just slightly underdone. Um, it's all very well having uh, practice and practice and practice, but game time uh, is, is is a lot more important than just practicing and practicing. Now, the Blues should have had a, a pretty much a, a practice run against uh, Moana Pacifica in the first uh, round. They've missed that, so I just think they may be just short a gallop and I think that the Hurricanes, especially with the point start that they're getting uh, at the moment, do look uh, like a, a wee bit of value. I, I do like the chances of the Hurricanes this weekend, and I will be I will be backing them. It's, it's good to know. Um, how about you, Richard? Were you sort of did you to manage to take some positives from Saturday night as well? For yeah, the I mean, as, as Paul said, like I think that's the fact that Artie and Geordie were so good. Um, I mean, they're just like quite clearly two best in the team, but there was, I mean, the game sort of probably played out how you would have expected. You know, they put up a fight, but then, as you said, there's sort of that 15, 20 minutes where they just um, let the um, Crusaders run away with it and they didn't give up, scored a couple of tries at the end. Um, so I think they'll be, they'll come into this game, yeah, they're having, having that hit out, with the, knowing the Blues haven't had that hit out. I hope they stick with Ruben Love at 10. You know, he had a few little errors, but um, I thought on the whole, like, he, he, it was a really positive game for him. Once he stopped kicking know? the ball straight to Will Jordan, yeah. that, that improved. <laughs> yeah. There was a couple of kicks. Like, oh, yeah, so what are we doing that, Ruben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But I, I mean, I think that, like, you know, he, he scored that try, you know. And mm. like, um, oh, yeah. There was so, like, when they sort of got a bit of momentum going that late in the first half there, and him and Jordy were working really well. Yeah. And he was popping into the back line outside Jordy. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I, 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 I don't mind them with, with the start, mm. to be honest. Yeah. I think... Um, Umay Jensen probably didn't have his um, greatest game, but um, we know what he's capable of. So if he can kind of um, put that behind him. And... Greatest game is simply true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that midfield defence really needs tightening yeah. up. Um, I don't know what's, what's the story with Tay Walden, but maybe we'll see him get a run this week because yeah. I think he would bring a it's lot a level of head, eh? yeah, yeah. leadership and sort of solidity to that midfield. But yeah, I don't know if yeah, Umay Jensen propped in midfield is a necessarily yeah. the answer defensively. I mean, I'm excited about seeing that Blues backline, uh, you know. Mm. Um, I imagine they'll sort of play most of the big guns at least. Do we know if um, Bowden's playing? I can't yeah. find any news because he was obviously not going to play last week. I wouldn't be surprised. And I haven't, there hasn't been enough official updates. So. The fact that the yeah. likes of sort of Moanga and yeah. there's a few players that haven't come back, eh? So we'll see. But yeah, that'd be huge. Mm. I mean, I imagine what Peter Fito would, Peter Fito would play. So, yeah. Or yeah. Harry Plummer still Plummer. doing his yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, so they've got... Um, yeah, I'm just, I think that that um, Blues four packs really going to be the the death of them this season, and mm. we might see that this week. I mean, Hurricanes four pack also 
probably not the strongest in the comp, but um, yeah, I think I think we're in for an exciting game. Mm. Yeah, no, for sure. And like we saw, you sort of touched on there already, Paul, but I think just having that that competition game under the belts already is going to be huge for the Hurricanes. Yes, like it is, you know, the, the preseason is one thing, but actually getting a proper hit out against the defending champs, like a really strong side, you get it. Like both and love and the halves have never played a game together as yeah. far as so like getting a few a, the opportunity to work on a few well, of those um, both play well. well he, was, he always plays well. He's a great player. And I don't know whether he'll yeah, play he it, TJ's back or not. But no, yeah. TJ's out for a month. Oh, so, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's promising. I thought he had a pretty solid game. Mm. Yeah, no, I think certainly the, the just those a few new combination there, and then you look at the blows. Like I, I don't know, we don't have the teams at time of recording, but if it is, yeah, like a. Plumber or Perifita, RTS, Rika, Ioani midfield. Like, that's not a group of players that have played a lot of rugby yeah. together. So, there could be, like, we we're talking about the Hurricanes' defensive issues in the midfield. Like, Umanga Jensen and Billy Proctor, whoever do get the run, and they're, they're certainly capable of causing defensive issues for other midfields. So, like, uh, if it's, you know, RTS's first game of union in a, in a while, that could, could be a bit sticky for them there. They'll then probably score plenty of points, but being under the roof, it could, yeah, I think the Hurricanes will back themselves to. Yeah, just you, especially with like guys like Artie and Jordy, you don't want to be having defensive breakdowns because they were like Artie. It seems like the second he spots any gap this season, he's going to go for it. So, yeah, I'm cautious um, over some The only thing, like, sort of from a Blues perspective, though, they've won four of five against yeah. the Hurricanes since Bowden left, and like four, all four wins have been pretty convincing by at least nine points. From those meetings, Paul, do you think there's something just about the way these two teams match up that, you know, styles make fights that lean, towards the Blues that favour them? Have you anything you can think of? Yeah, well, I think it's not unlike rugby league where the teams that have the best spine, the the one, the six, seven and nine, usually come out on top. And I think when Bowden was playing for the Canes, we outmatched them in terms of having a, a better nine, ten than the Blues. That sort of, it sort of turned around and uh, the last four or five meetings, but uh, uh, I think the fact that uh, Ruben loves there now, uh, and the more he plays, the better he'll get, and the better the chances of the Hurricanes. I think so. Um, I, I think we we're about to see a wee bit of a turn. I'd love to see a TJ playing as well because I think that experience inside him uh, would really help Ruben Love's game uh, immensely. So uh, when TJ does come back. Um, look for a, a big improvement and not just the Hurricanes' chances of winning games, but the performance of Ruben Love. I think TJ will take a lot of pressure off him um, and, and I think Ruben will be able to express himself a wee bit more um, than what he will be with uh, a halfback less experienced than TJ. And to be fair, there's, there's not too many halfbacks going around at the moment that have more experience than TJ. So... Um, that'll be a big, big plus when he gets back. So uh, I'm still still encouraged by the way they went in the first week and the fact they've had a game, the Blues haven't, uh, and they'll, they'll be able to iron out a few things. Hopefully that midfield will be slightly more solid in defence mm. than they were against the Crusaders. Uh, and if they do pick up um, slightly in that department, yeah, I could see the Hurricanes going very, very close. Yeah, sure. I think like the odds are probably... A bit wider than I, I i saw when they opened the canes were six and a half point underdogs and i looked at it i'd love just to get the full converted try that would and now it's out to eight and a half so yeah. that certainly makes it look pretty don't appealing um yeah i don't we will get to official bets later on but are we are we also maybe in a bit more of agreement here leaning the, like it, the, yeah. the underdog yes yep <laughs>